All right, gang, and welcome to Procreate. My name is Jeremy Hazel, and on behalf of Seven Season Studios, let's go ahead and take a look at how to work with the new grids in the 4.1 release. So in order to find the grid manager, you're gonna come over to your canvas, and then we're going to go ahead and click on the drawing guide. Now, the drawing guide has seen a substantial uptick. Let's go ahead and edit the drawing guide. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. You have a new option now for a 2D grid. Before, those of us that used to make these grids used to grab the grid brush and have to go through and make sure we didn't mess the lines up. Now, you can change the thickness of your lines. Notice as I adjust the slider, the thickness moves. I can change the opacity down. Notice the opacity moves. And I can also modify the grid size, folks. This is huge. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the grid size here. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to do the isometric drawing, you can choose the isometric grid. You can make sure that you have the classic perspective grid. And now let's say here that we place a dot on the grid and I don't like the blue. Maybe I'm gonna draw in blue and I want it to be something different. You can now change the color with this area. So this is now huge. Now, if you don't like this again, you can go through and we can make it symmetrical. Now, horizontal, vertical, quadrant, or radial. And you can also click on enabling rotational symmetry. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and click on the 2D grid. I'm gonna make this probably 79, about 172 pixels. And then when you're done, hit done. Cool, you now have a grid. Now, the cool thing is, in order to work with this grid, you have to go to the layer and make sure that drawing assist is on. Now, watch what happens. What does that even mean, right? Now, when I come in and I enable assisted drawing, it snaps to wherever I'm looking at. You see what just happened there? So now, I can't freehand it. I can only go in 90 degree increments because that's the direction of my grid. Now, when I come over here, I clear the layer. Now let's do one more here. I'm gonna show you how this works with the ISO grid. Edit the drawing grid, change to isometric, make sure the drawing assist is on, and then hit done. Now watch this, we make sure it's an assisted layer. And now I can only draw in certain paths. I cannot draw in ways that don't match the grid. So it's really keeping me on the straight and narrow in terms of making sure that I'm drawing in an isometric fashion. So look at that. We just made a perfect box. All right. So now this is key. Let's go here. Let's turn off drawing assist. Now you see that now this layer doesn't have the assist on anymore. Now I can draw anywhere I want. So make sure you turn that off if you no longer want it. Other than that, that's a brief overview on all the grids that came out with this 4.1 release. If you liked this video and you want more of them, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate a thumbs up in the like area. And then if you're really looking to take your Procreate game to the next level, check out the link below for a link and a special coupon for our YouTube viewers to our guide to draw, sketch, paint, and design in Procreate. This thing is eight hours full of everything you'd need about Procreate, and it also covers all of the 4.1 updates. All right, folks, on behalf of Seven Seasons Studios, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.